The AMVH is a new system and it's the first system on the market that is really a turnkey system to optimize the suspension for NVH behavior. The AMVH250 is a machine that allows you to mount a full suspension system to a very stiff structure and also actuators excite the wheel center. The AMVH works by injecting high frequency test signals into the wheel center of your suspension system. We measure the position and load inputs at the wheel center and we look at how that is transferred through the suspension components and we measure the forces in three degrees of freedom at each uh, hard point of the vehicle body. The core components of the machine are a high natural frequency frame assembly which we mount the suspension system to and six electric linear actuators which have been specifically designed to inject the test frequencies for the suspension system. And the area you're especially looking at is the structure borne transfer of suspension excitations into the vehicle structure. So uh, forces generated either by uh, brakes, uh, road inputs or tire vibration modes into the vehicle body. Especially nowadays when we go to electric vehicle, there is all minimal noise coming from engine. Uh, so it's very important to isolate any noise coming from your suspension. The industry is changing and there's a big focus on reducing prototypes. It makes it even more important to do more analytical and component testing up front to make sure when you assemble the final vehicle that you have optimized most of your subsystems and the final product is very close to being ready for launch. The AMVH really enables you to do all the work up front to minimize the risk that you need to go into late expensive fixes before releasing the vehicle. One of the exciting things about the AMVH machine is that we're able to provide suspension designers with data that they've, they've never had before. Traditionally, suspension designers have got a lot of objective data at the component level. They rely heavily on subjective data from test drivers that are driving the full vehicle prototypes. What we're able to provide them is objective data for the full suspension system, which is something that they've never had before. With the suspension system under test, we've just run a frequency sweep from zero to 100 hertz. And as you can see from the data here, we're looking at the loading of the damper top mount. Um, specifically, there's some peculiar resonances in the 20 to 30 hertz region, which is signified by this large spike in the force trace. This would be a particular interest to the suspension designer, as typically they wouldn't be expecting this type of behavior from the damper. The volume and quality of the objective data that it can provide is vital in the design of suspension systems. Another unique feature and very interesting and extremely important is the possibility with the dynamic arms to measure also the kinematic and compliance characteristics of a suspension. You can continuously check if your vehicle dynamics characteristics, the kinematic and compliance characteristics are still within spec and give the desired results. There are a lot of reasons to invest in the AMPH. So one thing, of course, is the drive to, to reduce prototypes. So really this system, again, enables you to much, do much more upfront engineering and upfront optimization, kind of reducing prototypes and avoiding late fixes. Another reason is the cost of this machine is easily made up. If you can avoid in your future vehicles one late fix like an hydro mount, you're already made up easily for the purchase of the machine. Now you buy a system from a well-known equipment manufacturer with a very good reputation already. For example, our SPMM, the Kinematic and Compliance Measuring Machine, is in all areas of the world. And we have more than 35 machines in operation for more than 25 years. So the same design group designed this system. Again, fully electric, low maintenance and very robustly designed.